Hi everybody, Mr. Simpson here and welcome to Mr. Simpson Storytime, Storytime Day number 36. Now, a couple of weeks ago I did receive an email from a young lady by the name of Elsie who requested this book um, and I finally found it. So Elsie, if you're listening, this is for you. And it explains one of the riddles of the ages. Here we go. That doesn't sound right. Let's try it again. Aliens love underpants. Must be something wrong with the sound. Okay, here we go. Aliens love underpants. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size. But there are no underpants in space. So here's a big surprise. When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I bet you never knew. The spaceship radar bleeps and blinks the moment that it sees a washing line of underpants all flapping in the breeze. They land in your back garden, though they haven't been invited. Oh, underpants, they chant and dance around, delighted. They like them red, they like them green or orange like Satsumas, but best of all, they love the sight of Granny's spotted bloomers. <laughs> Mum's pink frilly knickers are a perfect place to hide and Grandpa's woolly long johns make a super whizzy slide. In daring competitions, Held up by just one peg, they count how many aliens can squeeze inside each leg. They wear pants on their feet and heads, and other silly places. They fly pants from their spaceships, and hold upside down races. As they go zinging through the air, it really is pantastic. What fun the aliens can have with pingy pants elastic. It's not your neighbour's naughty dog or next door's funny game when underpants go missing. The aliens are to blame. But quick, Mum's coming out to fetch the washing in at last. Whee! Off the aliens all zoom. They're used to leaving fast. So when you put your pants on, freshly washed and nice and clean, just check in case an alien still lurks inside unseen. And that was... Aliens love underpants. Let's try that again. Aliens love underpants. Oh, oh never mind. I'll see you tomorrow for another great story.